All right, today we're going to do a winter scene. It's going to have like kind of a winter forest in the background and is kind of a high zoom lens, so it has this weird uh, dimension on it. it. Has like two little houses here. Um, these are yellow, this is green. I might change the colors. You know, yellow is not a pretty color, but we'll see. And they're going to have slight reflection. It's going to be kind of a frozen lake here, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, the question of the day is, what is loving Vincent and why is it unusual? All right, let's run through the colors. Titanium white, Mars black, raw umber, burn umber, raw sienna, primary yellow, phthalo green, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, Veroli red, Quinn magenta. Let's get this party started. <music> Alright, so we have the initial layer um, out of the two houses, the lighthouse. I had a little bit of reflection after I kind of built in this. Um, there's like a seawall that's really dark in color, which is a nice break between the two stabs. Um, I start out with kind of lighter snow um, that's on the branches. Now I've added in the tree trunks. I gotta let that dry so then I can start cutting it, covering over with the branches. And then eventually put in the uh, white snow on top of that. So it'll kind of layer back in, but it'll have like kind of a snowy background. Um, as a default so same thing here once this gets kind of we'll build in a little bit of the forest and add more of the white shimmer to match this and we'll see where it goes from there
the movie Loving Vincent's a movie and it's about kind of an investigation about Vincent Van Gogh and why he was killed. Was it a murder? Was he dead? So kind of this interesting take on Vincent Van Gogh at the very tail end of his life. Now what happens is they use real paintings of Van Gogh and they set the scene around all the scenes where he painted. So as if Van Gogh was there, it's like the ghost of Van Gogh. And so you have the cafe scene, you have some of the wilderness scenes. And what they've done is digitally photographed it or digitally filmed it. And then they convert those to paintings. So the whole film is clips of paint, painting stitched together. So it's really crazy. They use literally hundreds of artists and thousands and thousands of hours to stitch this together. One of the really most beautiful films ever made from my perspective as far as visually, I mean the complication of doing this and doing it right was just outstanding. It's very interesting. If you're a painter, I really loved it and I highly encourage it. It's way better than other Van Gogh movies I've seen. So that's my question of the day. Thanks for watching guys. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So in this case, I'm using a really abstracted forest. Um, the house are concrete. The lake as well is pretty abstracted. Um, there's parts I like, parts I don't like in this painting. Um, I don't know if I'll do this <laughs> composition again. It's definitely very hard with all the trees and trying to get that detail looking right. Um, the lake was kind of fun because it's really interesting. It doesn't look natural at all to the eye, but so I'm trying to copy that, but same time knowing what I know from a lake. So yeah, it's just a really hard, um, hard painting to do from this photo. Um, probably not my first choice if I was on site. Obviously painting outside in the winter would be a little bit crazy. Unless you're in the Caribbean, right? So um, there's some practicality there. Yeah, I mean, overall it's, it's decent. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you like it give a thumbs up if you want to subscribe subscribe below and i'll see you in the next painting video thanks guys